Welcome everybody to a video that will showcase orchids at night <laughs> because I can. My orchids are mainly outdoors and I thought why not go around while it's dark on the second evening of orchids being outside on my patio. Little bit of a different take this time around and I hope that you enjoy the tour. We will be going from dark to light and dark to light. Let's see what we discover. <laughs> Dendrobium Berioda. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, I moved her away from the table where she normally lives at, but that is because I thought she might just look pretty with that green background. No, I haven't tested this before, and I've never done this before. So thank you for humoring me. I say the second night that my orchids are outside because last night they were also outside but it was still too cold. I just completely ran out of time and I couldn't get my orchids back in in time. Oh, we've got bugs flying around. That's interesting. Anyway, so they had a very cold night last night outdoors, but tonight we have two or one degree more <laughs> than last night and it suddenly feels a little bit warmer. I don't feel as though I'm about to crack a crown just because I'm clenching my teeth so much. Right, Dendrobium berry odor is looking beautiful at night. Let's see what else we can find. We are under the covered portico in my south-facing blooming alley. Funny, I feel as though I should whisper. It is night time, but hey, you know what? So far, it's been relatively quiet for filming as well, which is a good thing. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Maybe I should get myself one of those headlamps when you go cave exploring or something and do all my filming at night. I wonder what that would look like. But anyway, what have we got to discover here? Let's just, ooh, Blooming Alley has not seen so many blooms in a very long time. Even though there's only four orchids displayed on this shelf, but still, we've got Dendrobium nobili, no ID to the left here. And I've got my Melissa Brianne right there, also in bloom, illuminated now. And right in the far corner, now they are facing me because all the buds have opened up fully. That is Lelia alvarenguensis, the pink one. And the one to the right, almost matching in height with a spike, is Lelia flava. But wait. I want to show you something. <laughs> oh, this is making me feel so good. The top shelf is full and you can see all the orchids in the background there. Yes, even if they're not in bloom, they're out here. Now let's go to the lower shelf. Ta-da! I've got Dendrobium nobili variety Cooksonianum right here in bloom. Ooh, they look so pretty. <laughs> oh, they look so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is giving me ideas. Oh, this is giving me ideas, especially for photography. Oh my goodness. Dendrobium nobili variety Cooksonianum at night. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> I love it. Okay, um, we've ventured a little bit further into the patio, back in the pitch dark. Let's see who we have right in front of us now. And what? Well, I'm going to give it away. Cousin It looks like in the dark. Okay, okay. We can see a lot more yellow leaves than we normally would during daytime. Hmm, and we can get a much deeper peek into the structures, the pseudobulbs, and the different growths. Well, this is interesting. At least it is for me. I wonder how you feel about it. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Not raining, not windy. Just here for a nice quiet evening and I come in and blast him with some flashlight. <laughs> Sorry, cousin it. Go back to sleep. You're looking amazing. Pitch black, <laughs> once again, the theme of the video, but who is hiding in the darkness? Let's have a look-see. Oh, it's Colmenara Masai Red. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. You can really see the velvet on the lip. Oh my goodness. You can really appreciate that texture. At least I hope you can. Oh, that, that's better. Oh, ooh. Ooh, nice. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, 
I have something now in the viewfinder when we switch the light on. Oh, Ampuyathea Pink Dreamer at night, totally illuminated. Oh my goodness, that color. I don't have to talk about the authentic color of the blooms. I don't have to do much describing. It's right here. It is the perfect representation. Oh, I love it. You know, I go and check all my orchids one time, maybe a second or third time before I call it a night. And it is so much more fun when it is not cold. Meanwhile, you would say, well, if the orchids aren't outside, then there is no need to go check on them. But yeah, I have orchids that live outside permanently, the ones you're seeing now. They have been indoors at night throughout the winter. <gasps> so, so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Look at all those little white speckles in the background there. Oh my goodness, the fragrance. That is not an orchid, that is jasmine. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it has that proper, proper fragrance now because it is a little bit warmer and the fragrance can do its thing. Oh, it's the backdrop to my other outdoor orchids that are outdoors right now. I am kind of risking it a little bit with some of these hot growers. The tubercolata there, my cordata, especially the gyrat kiku. The leptotus would prefer it to be warmer as well, but oh, enough already. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be making a mistake by leaving them outdoors. If we want to go down a lower shelf, I have the seedlings of the Cattleya maxima down there and my Jumelia arborescence and all the other things that really would prefer it a tad warmer maybe another two or three degrees just to be on the safe side i'm not going to be picky they're outside they should be fine and down here of all places all the way down here to the left i have my myrmecophila tibicinus and the ciliaris variety or stelii and then tucked away in there over there that one single pot a little bit closer to the hedge there is my Dendrobium munificum or Enobulbum munificum. Now, I'm just going to forewarn you because I don't want anybody to be like spooked out of their minds if you're on headphones because when I switch the light on to find out other things that are lurking in the dark, Ciliano might squawk because we are now indoors. So what are we going to see? Ta-da! Cattleya Intermedia to the right. Hyoguchi Happy Field over there in bloom. Beautiful blooms. Aphiopedlum Iona still looking great and down here oh the cutest of the cutest little orangus fastuosa that is about to go over and we're getting a little bit closer and look a francis fox against all odds now her blooms aren't very pretty but they've taught me a lot throughout the winter while she was forming her buds and actually bloomed out There is still something else lurking in here though, even though not as beautiful as it once was. But here's Lelia Harpophila. Deserves a mention. <laughs> beautiful. I don't even have to describe the color. <laughs> there it is. The true orange of a Harpophila. Yes, the blooms are going over, but that is this one. You can see how it's gone rusty. This is the color that I have been blessed with for the past months. Beautiful. And here is Capricorn Nu crossed with Embraee and Epidendrum, sequential bloomer, and it just has the tiniest, tiniest blooms. But very, very precious. Now I have more blooms lurking above us. If you're still with me and enjoying this little tour, let's have a look, see what is hovering above me. <laughs> this could be another hit and miss with regards to focus <laughs> and where I've positioned the camera. There we go. Ooh, pretty. Oh, I love these two. Bubba and Bubbalicious. And up here to the left. Whoop, up here, up, up here to the left. <laughs> Sorry about this. Is Walter. <laughs> Melanopsis Walter. So these three are in bloom. I have some more buds developing elsewhere. 
But for now, mm, 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 love it. I really, really hope that you enjoyed looking around with me in the dark and <laughs> discovering some blooms. I wanted to give this a try because hopefully warm temperatures will be a thing moving forward and well, maybe I will do more nighttime tours when the time comes. But let's have a look, see as to who is lurking in the dark here. Oh, yes, none other than Arangus Pastuosa. The Lady of the Night, Lily of the Valley fragrance, absolutely overpowering my entire gross space. My desk is a little bit further away from her and I can still smell her. Just thought it was the perfect, perfect orchid in bloom to showcase her at night. Because this is the time of day, night, however you want to call it. This is her time to shine in pitch darkness. So you've got that. You cannot see the orchid, but you can smell lily of the valley and jasmine. Pretty much there is no need for light to know where she is because all you have to do is follow your nose. <laughs> I love this tour personally. I think I can work with this and do something with it. But before I love and leave you, I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. I am not going to ignore this orchid, but know that I am signing off right now because the Fastuosa is the perfect orchid to sign off. But there's going to be one more clip because there's someone else hiding in the darkness. I'm going to share that with you anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a beautiful day, please, though, on one condition that you stay safe and take care. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Darwinara, Blue Charm. My goodness. You look amazing in the dark. Thank you.